guys. Thank y'all so much for joining us. Yes, <laughs> um, thank you. It's a uh, it's a crazy Thursday. Yeah, if you ever want to watch a little bit of a scramble of us getting things ready, we always start the YouTube um, stream before the Facebook. So. <laughs> well, not only that, tonight's a little wacky because we've got a twelve year old sleepover happening in the other room, and. Um, it's a pizza bar of sorts, <laughs> and that's a bit crazy. Jackie did set up this really amazing pizza bar. We got, um, I don't know, we were like crazy once when we bought this pizza oven thing. Like, you just plug <laughs> it in, but it's really cool because it's like a stone top, and it's, I'm making it sound fancier than it is, but it's pretty cool, though. It's fun, especially if you're a kid. It's, a, it's just extra fun, and you can make these little mini personal pizzas. Yeah. Which is the thing that I thought was cool, because it's like a mini bake oven for adults. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and and so, so everybody gets to make their own, you know, so I, we got, you know, pineapple, which I know some consider nuts, and then um, sausage and pepperoni and olives and onions and all that stuff. Yum. So the kids, well, Jack and his friend, are able to make their own pizza, and we don't have to buy a million different types of pizzas or pizzas cut in half with different things. Or That's whatever. true. You know, the yeah. chaos of all that though, of having a 12 year old sleepover kind of fits in with tonight. Um, and the theme murder, <laughs> theft and destruction before it's over. <laughs> maybe, maybe sprinkle in a little alcohol. No, it's mostly destruction. It, it, no, it's, but it, it, it's kind of awesome though. You know, Jack's been homeschooled and of course now, right yeah. now all kids have been homeschooled. And um, <laughs> yeah. so being able to like have the kids like get together and stuff, that's that's pretty sweet. He um, he had a sleepover last week, and then um, he, I think he has another one planned for next week. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, that's cool. that's it's it's part of the shtick of homeschooling is you got to grab onto those those social moments, and even though that means re rearranging his school a bit, cause technically he has school tomorrow in homeschool. Mm. I, I then push things around so that they can, you know, have a fun night. That's cool. So You're, you're a good mom. You know what <laughs> Thanks. I mean? Well, the pizza thing was your idea, although you I was the one it. that set it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the one that gets the kudos. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, and I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes and everything that they, they sent over the weekend and this week and stuff. I, I sent out a Facebook message thanking people for thanking me, and then more people – thank me or wish me happy birthday and now i need to send another thank you <laughs> maybe just keep this going <laughs> but um that's funny though aging I, I, i'm at the age now where not having to wake up in the middle of the night to go to go to the bathroom that seems like a superpower <laughs> when was the last time you did that i never i mean i, I, I mean you know it, it, that's like i think you've done that since i've known you i know i know that's why well, you I, have I mean, one kidney so you were you were doomed from the start I don't know. It's a trooper. That's all I. That's all I know. But yeah, that to me that seems like a superpower. Like I. I mean, goodness. I'm I do saying. remember. I do remember when I was pregnant, um, and all of a sudden having to get up and go to the bathroom a lot was a super inconvenience, and I was surprised at how like you'd hear people complain about it, and you're like, whatever, you know. But then it hits you, and you're like, oh my gosh, this sucks. Oh yeah. 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 Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> It, it does. Well, speaking does. of, Christy Harkins joined us as happy belated birthday. It's been a tough week. I missed it. Oh. So I'm sorry. It's been well, a tough week. I yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, well, I'm glad you're here right now. Now we um, can talk about murder. Yeah. Internet <laughs> air hugs to you. You know, I hope the rest of your week's better. Um, yeah, and let's, let's talk about murder and well, destruction. She, and she says her brother was born with one kidney, mm. too. Although John wasn't born with one kidney, he had one removed. But yes, one kidney situation over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T telling you, <laughs> not but, good, um, man. Not good. <laughs> I just needed some extra cash when I was about seven years old, so I, thought, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I made a quick trip to Vegas. You just woke up in a bathroom and you're like, "What happened?" <laughs> like, <"What's> Ice bath. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. um, and Bill Barnett joins us and says, "Hello, John and Jackie." Oh, Bill. Hey. I just um I just got your 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 email and um but I gonna email you back we're starting this um we're having a twelve year old sleepover and it's chaos everything is chaos anyway like we're we've been you know the, this week is like a week full of deadlines and yeah. stuff so um it's been late nights and crazy it's been great though I mean like I'm not complaining a bit but you know it's it's awesome to have the work right now you know so I mean that's brilliant but um yeah so but yeah uh, um I, I was gonna get with Jackie because. Um, Bill was wondering like what time a uh, date and time would oh, be yeah, good yeah, to, yeah. to call. Yeah, well, we'll and I, I don't know the schedule at all. You know, I am the calendar keeper. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should have a robe. Um, should. I should. I should have a magical calendar robe. Hmm. 
the many colors. Anyway. Well, what would my robe look like? I want a special robe. We're all getting, we're all getting robes. <laughs> we're all getting robes. <laughs> Have your initials. Um, well, Barbara Brands joined us and says, hi Barbara. there. Hi there. Um, ho there. My daughter has a half half a kidney. Mm. Ugh. Um, you have like a tiny bit of a kidney. You have one in like a third of a kidney, don't you? Well, it's one in a bit. They're not, I'm not sure how much because, the other is. Cause. Because we went to the doctor once and they got x-ray. He got x-rayed and the, the doctor like, what was it? The, the next... When they had the results, they were like, uh, did you know? They were all concerned. It was like, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they had to take almost all of it, but there's like a little bit over there, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's gross. Yeah, I'm telling you. Um, uh, and well, Bill Barnett says, you both look great, and I'm glad to see you are well. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. You. Well, um, and thanks to everyone for joining in. Yes, and uh, Kylie Sykes says hello to you both. Um, and then let's see what over here we've got, let me go through the comments really fast. Um, Ken says, uh, wow, the show title is spot on for recent headlines. It is unfortunately. Hey Ken. Um, uh, let's see. And Christy says, um, sleepover. <laughs> she says, God, sleepovers. <laughs> yes. I said, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Anyway, um, no, they're 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 great kids. They're I mean, Jack's awesome and Lucas is awesome. Um, Christy Almond says hi, guys. Uh, Tiffany says hello to both of you. I look forward to your live chats. It's a great break to a chaotic work day. Thank you. Thanks oh, for thank joining you. us continuously. That's awesome. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm got, sorry. I'm got. Oh, Andy. Uh-huh. Andy joined us. He says, "What's up? Andrew? What's up? What's up?" Hey, hey, um, hey. Barbara says a smidgen of a kidney. Sounds like some kind of spell. A robe or definitely <laughs> robe is definitely in order. Yes, I should have a robe for everything. <laughs> some midget in a kidney. It does sound like something you put in a cauldron or something. Um, at Andy's, t- uh, Dennis is at Andy's to teach him how to use a pellet smoker. Oh. Oh. So Andy got a smoker and didn't tell us to come over, huh? <laughs> Not cool. Um, That's awesome, man. Andy says Dennis, Sam, and I are here. Um. Uh, at the house, uh, hanging with you guys. Wish you were here having beers with us. I do too, man. I didn't know it was a mini smoker party. Yeah, yeah. Not cool, so, man. It sounds like, well, I don't know if y'all are having a sleepover, but it sounds like an adult sleep type <laughs> sleepover thing. <laughs> well, you, 12 year old times. They don't want to come over to our 12 year old party? Is that, what, <laughs> is that, no, no? There's tons of energy. Yeah. <laughs> there is no uh, shortage they, of that. They, they, they are great kids, so they're, they're <laughs> awesome. Yeah, especially when the Nerf guns start going that's crazy anyway mm. so let's uh let's get down to some nitty gritty what are you working yeah. on over there oh yeah well um actually i'm finishing finishing up a series um hopefully like for the textural thing and but the last painting that i'm kind of um that i'm going to work on tonight well it's not really this um the one that I, i'm just trying to get the the, the cellophane's face right but, okay i think you should go to it and yeah. we can take it to the crowd that's true. This yeah, I do. But right, right before they do that, actually, I wanted to thank our our Patreon. Oh yeah, yeah. Guys, and but because um, you know, we don't we don't ask for anything at all. You know, like from you guys, like this is we we want to hang out. We hang out. This is fun. But I did want to thank Ron, Kelly, Kristen, Crystal, Linda, and Michelle because you guys are so awesome to to support what we're doing and all I, all this. I really I appreciate you have it. that memorized the names. You know, oh. rattle it off like a song. Oh, did I say too fast? No, no, no. Ron, Kelly, Christine, <laughs> Christine, Dinner, Michelle. <laughs> you guys can tell we've clearly lost our mind today. Like It's clearly. been a long sequestering of the COVID, whatever it is. Shel- shelter it's, it's shelter just, in... Oh, gosh, shelter in place, honey. It is. Okay, cool. Yes. Which is Almost being, had it, and I thought, no, it's resident something. It's be, no. Almost had it. Oh. No. And it's being lifted, so... Is it? We'll see. Well, yeah. Oh, I mean, a little bit. You know. Little increments. Well, Andy says, that's his reaction. And tour, um, tour. He, it's the same. Everything? Sp- yeah, probably. <laughs> to us not hanging. And then um, oh. <laughs> he said same smoker he's had for two years. And nope, he doesn't want to join our party. And um, nice. oh, Barbara says time to address the elephant in the room. Ha! And and, and Bill Barnett says ha ha. Yes, <laughs> let's let's uh let's address that elephant. Elephant. Here we go. Yeah. So um, in this series and. Uh, I might, you know, it might be better. I was, I was going to try to show them tonight, but the 
other four, the four of the six paintings are on these four foot by four foot um, long boards. So I might be a little wieldy to try to bring them over. But I do want to share it. So maybe next Monday or Thursday we'll have all the images probably to be able to show. Yeah. And all that because cause I, I, want to, I, just, I just want to share with you guys. It's funny like you're in the studio and you're just like working, working, working. And Jackie and I will go back and forth. Like I'll ask her, you know, like, you know, is this, what do you think about this elephant's face? And blah, blah, blah. You know, or, or you know, or, or, you know, I'll put in a butterfly and I'll ask her and Jack what they think about it but it's really cool to be able to share it with you guys and see what y'all think that's not the Prince face i'm not sure it's uh, the other five of the of the paintings um i'm pretty happy with right now this one I'm, I'm fairly happy with it but um it had a bunch of black lines going along so everywhere you see gray and i'm not sure how well the color comes through on this yeah can i mean it 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 comes through fairly well so it's, it's okay okay yeah. cool cool um so um because um, I know, like, down here I did it with a paint knife, and it's definitely probably not getting all the little varied colors. That's well, no, it, it does look a little blown out, but... Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. But, yeah. So, there's lots of very... This this down here has a lot of texture to it, and um, so and there's lots of a little bit of swirls of color that the camera's just not going to pick up. Um, so, there's probably subtle colors up here that, that, are, that are there as well, but... Um, but there were black lines. Everywhere there's, like, a dark gray line, there was kind of a little black um, illustrative sort of lines. And I took those out, and I think I like the idea of that because I think I think it probably gives the elephant a younger sort of face. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't want to take them out everywhere. Like I think in the trunk I need that, but I, I mean I did wonder. <laughs> yeah. What? I don't know. It, it, we've been going back and forth on this painting for well, weeks, but yeah, I hear you. It's a bit tricky. It I, is because it's he's darker than what I don't, would have probably done him normally. Mm -hmm. But I wanted this um, blue background. Yeah. And, um, so, you know, I don't know. Well, um, before I comment on your comment, mm -hmm. um, Dennis says, I'm bleeding in multiple places thanks to his puppy. Oh. And Andy's new puppy. Um, oh, oh, as, okay. as long as Chip Whiskey. Echo and Jack won't make me bleed, I'll come to Denton. <laughs> well, there's no promises. I can't, I can't guarantee that, man. We got twice the 12 year old now, so I cannot make any promises. This morning I fed the dogs and I was like bleeding from both hands. I don't know what happened. I just grab things every once in a while. I was like, ow. Like, I didn't realize I was washing my, um, I was going to wash my hands, and my one hand was already kind of wet a little bit. It wasn't what like, it wasn't do? like a we pouring a blood. It was just, and what then, and then, and then, and then, and then on the other hand was like cut too. You're a mess. I don't know what, I don't know what, I mean, it was just dog food and stuff. I must have got a hold of something. That's weird. Um, oh, Aaron Chalk has joined us. Says hello, John and Jackie. Happy belated birthday, John. Oh, thank you. And um, uh, Vilia uh, joins us. Says another belated happy birthday, John. Oh, so, thank you so much. Christy Almond says you guys are a hoot and a half. Oh. I'm the hoot. You're the half. <laughs> um, and then uh, Maria says uh, he is adorable. Oh, thank you. Talking about the elephant, babe. Oh, yeah. The elephant. Yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I knew. Oh. Um, yeah. See, oh, okay. And in, in, in this painting too, there, there's these little um, fluffs, like dan, dan, dandelion seeds, mm -hmm. that are coming from another painting, um, where a woman, where a girl is blowing on a, a big, a big dandelion blossom weed thing. Yes. So through most of the paintings, there's these little seeds going through, um, and then and butterflies are flutter, fluttering through too, because I have another painting that's all butterflies. So they sort of make it where all the paintings go together. But on this one, I mean, I'm not I'm not sure. Like, I'm happy with it, but then I, I'm not sure. I don't want to overwork it. Yeah, it gets it gets dicey when you overwork it, and it's so easy to do that. My 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 hang up, and it's so hard. Like, and this is this is how John and I work. Is that he'll do paint a painting, and he probably on some subconscious level hates asking my opinion because I I That's always not subconscious. <laughs> I always have something to say. I always am like, well, I love it, but you could, you know. I always have, you know, but I feel like that's my job. So, <laughs> yeah. I bring so, the pain. Yeah. <laughs> the people's elbow. So, my elbow. thing with this elephant, I love this elephant. It's super cute. I could not paint this elephant. That's clear. Mm. Um, but I feel like it's lacking the softness. And, and I don't want to say, like, it needs more of a cartoony feel. But it needs more of a cartoony feel. It needs more baby cuteness. Mm. And I guess the line work in it leaves this sort of the realisticness of it, which is great, and that's your 
that's awesome. It, I guess that's where, where I'm, I'm having to hang out a little bit. Yeah. Um, no, it's, but either way, it's, I mean, even if you submitted this now to the project, I, I think the powers that be would be like, Oh, that looks great. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like it. I, I'm wondering about the mouth. That's really one of, I just wonder if I should, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, it's, it's like, you know, you get to a painting and you, you, and you start to nitpick every little thing. Yeah. You know? You know, and it's hard sometimes. It's yeah. hard. And we've been doing that with these six paintings because they're a set. We've been nitpicking the who out of them. Yeah, yeah. So it might be time to just do the final touches and call it and see what the see what the the committee says. It or, might be. It or might, decides. Yeah, and you know, I mean, it's. Uh, but I mean, I don't want to submit it till I'm really happy. You know, yeah, and all that. Yeah. So I mean, there's you know. Ah. Well, my other thing I was telling John this earlier is elephants. Whenever he paints elephants, they sell very quickly and really well so elephants are a popular thing um so it's not as if he couldn't paint a totally different one <laughs> like just paint another one you know in the 20 minutes you have in the morning <laughs> you know over coffee and uh and do that but you know yeah i did i did an extra painting in this series armadillo one although i think that no, was, that was be for, for that was for the trinity River yeah one. but they're all kind of the same proportion so i thought yeah, yeah. Uh, the armadillo was weird I Cute like the, in its yeah, own. Oh, he's, all, he's all rolled up on the, uh, is the he? canvas. Is that where is he rolled went? up oh. over there. Okay. He, he turned out really cute. We should we should show it to the crowd eventually because I think they, a lot of people. Oh. Well, Barbara says I think he's adorable. Well, so, thank you, Barbara. Thank you. That's some people have good taste, Barbara. So <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> some people. And uh, Tanya Locke says hello, John and Jackie. Great seeing you guys again. John, you're rocking it. Oh, thank you. Art emojis galore. Art? What's an art emoji? Well, there's a paintbrush, a palette, and a little picture. Really? You you need to. I need to up my embark emoji on the game. art emoji. I do. Game. I need to up my emoji game. I most most emojis like on screen readers, they just read the characters emojis made from. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you know it's just like exclamation marks, you know, left parentheses, whatever. Yeah. And you're like, what does that stand for? And then, but. Colon left parenthesis or right parenthesis, whatever it is. I, can, I don't even I can't even think of it when I hear it. I just think smiley face. Hmm, nice. You know, so when I hear that, like I, now it's smiley face. But yeah, then some of them, <laughs> some of them I wonder. I think what did somebody just send me? <laughs> what what that on be? earth? You're like deciphering hieroglyphics or something. Sometimes, sometimes I'll Google it. I'm like, what is it? You know. <laughs> What is this emoji? Googling emojis. Yeah. I have no idea. Because it's like the ASCII code of it or something, or something like that, yeah. you know, so you can look yeah. them up sometimes. But. All of a sudden you go into like the deep, deep, you know, dark area of emojis and it's, <laughs> it's not a good place. And <laughs> all of a sudden you... Exactly. Yeah, you got to go take a shower. Anyway, so today's show we were going to... Oh, crap. We... I paint on my hand and uh, sink. We were going to talk about, because you did on Insta... Was, did you post it today? I did. It was on Instagram and um in Facebook and yeah, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a uh, I'm I'm doing like a little coffee thing in the morning. Yeah. So and it was murder most foul. It was. It was murder and art. Yeah. Yeah. It was most foul. And but it was so much. Fun. But it, about across across the platforms, around 500 people have saw it. Oh, that's cool. Which to me is kind of awesome. Like I mean, like we don't really do it for the numbers and all that, but to think like. Oh, that many people had 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 coffee with me this morning. That's I don't know. It, may, it gives me a warm feeling. You know, it's kind of neat. Nice. In the morning, I'm just I don't know, like you're in there it's, with the dogs. It's and like you got friends. It, it is almost like I have friends. <laughs> well, sp speaking of friends, it's like I have friends. <laughs> speaking of my best friends, <laughs> um, here's here's Eagle and Echo has has deigned to join us. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So nice. The Echoes. black blob is Echo and the yellow blob <laughs> is Eagle. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, and that video came out like at uh, eight this morning for that that one you were talking about. So that was twelve hours ago, and I mentioned that because um, Eagle was just like that this morning at eight when I when I when I loaded it up to the internet. Mm. She was right over there. Nice. Doing that exact thing. She has moved today. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> She hasn't. She's gotten up and done stuff. She hasn't been there since eight this morning. Hmm. Till there. Yeah. But yeah, I did. I did that. And it was. It was. Um. Um. So if anybody wants to check that out, it's just sort of. It's the kind of stuff that I. I would like to hear. Like, but it's about one of my favorite paint, painters, Caravaggio, mm -hmm. and about um. Um, sort of, sort of a, a take on on um. I don't know, some 
criminal activities. And Some stuff. criminal activities. Yeah, and, and that so, he was involved in. Yeah, and, and I don't he know, was a crazy guy. He was. He well, yeah, he was. He was I think a little he nutty. Was, I think he was. He he has the reputation of probably being the most criminal artist in my research that I did. Well, you know. Some of this. I mean. Well, I think I think I think maybe um, I, I noticed when I was loading the the, the paint the, the pictures that you have for your talk mm-hmm. or your talk for your yeah. thing um, that you you had you had him I think. I do. I had a portrait of him. So yeah. So. Yeah. We. I, I. I have some info on him, and I knew cool. you're. He's like your fave. So. I do like him. Um. Well, I should say Barbara Brand. Barbara Brand says eggplant question mark. Hmm. <laughs> it's an emoji thing. I mean, what does that mean, though? It. We don't need to go into it for the show. It's cool. This, um, it, does, it means something, though, right? Yeah. See, I've always known it means something. Yeah. What does it mean? I don't know. You should Google it on your off time. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, she said, you got way too much out of this uh, murder. Well, there, well, there was a... Oh, I, I did? Yes, you. Oh, oh it, um, I should... Uh, let me say, uh, Maria asked, what time are you doing the coffee slash art group? Which, it's not oh. necessarily an art group, but you post the co- the coffee time oh, yeah, in, the, in morning. the mornings, like every few day, every other day or so. It's on Instagram. And and, and, and and Facebook, too. I make it for Instagram, so it's a weird, it's a long video thing. Yeah, but it, but I also post it on my art page. Yeah. And today I actually shared it, so I've done a few of them. And I did it for Instagram because we're, um, we don't, um, I don't know, I've been thinking, like, I need to do more stuff on Instagram or I want to. And they have an Instagram Live at IGTV uh-huh. over there. I thought, oh, yeah. that's brand new. That'll be fun. Let's let's play around with that. And I didn't know what to do, and I thought, well, you know, in the mornings when when I'm drinking coffee, like I don't know, it'd be fun to talk about art and do different things. Your and next that. step, you know, is like a TikTok dance. Hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I just um. No, but you know, you know, because we, we we have this live stream we do twice a week, and it's, yeah, it's at night, and you know, you usually have wine, and yeah. it's like an you know, it's like a, a nighttime kind of thing. So for the coffee, I can have mimosas. <laughs> yeah, you can have it on my most. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. All right. And, um, but yeah. Oh, oh, I should say about, about the emojis. I remember whenever you were in roller derby, um, <laughs> yes. like some, some of the, some of the roller derby people would send an emoji over like um, a Facebook or something or a message and they, 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 they would be a heart emoji. But to me, it was like, it, I forget what the, the characters are for it, but, um, <laughs> It's like a greater than symbol and then a three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it. I thought it was like. I'm <laughs> say it. I thought it was like balls. Yeah. You know, like baller. You know, hey, hey, hey you know, like you know, or, or like you know, or you know, because it's 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 roller derby. So like, hey, you're really getting out there. You're like you're gutsy and all that really? kind of stuff. Really? Because that. Well, but it, it was funny though because it never worked. It was just like. <laughs> Hey, uh, you know, it was, it was great. It's great seeing, seeing seeing you guys last night or whatever. Um, you know, I, I really like your art, balls. <laughs> you know, or or hey, hey, are you are you guys are you are you guys gonna come out tonight to the little shindig, balls? <laughs> well, <laughs> and I would think like, what does that mean? I mean, it is roller derby, so weird, inappropriate things were very uncommon. But this, in our, you know, what you the know, best dialogue. part of that is though. Is it is it like they found out and then that started being a saying? Oh yeah, and then they would just write. Balls. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. like used to, you know they were like you know like you know you in person you know they're like hey balls you know like, whatever. <laughs> all right we'll we'll see you guys later balls. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, roller derby, I miss those days. That was fun. Yeah, balls. So um <laughs> yeah uh so we should talk about the wacky mm. criminal side of art. All right. Well, let me let me click on the computer so it'll think about it. What is this? Oh, we're going out of order. This is cool. We can do oh. this. We can do. Um. Okay. So this picture that you're seeing here <laughs> is Boston's um, Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. It it this. Oh, the Gardner Museum. Yes. Oh. Oh. I know. I know where this is headed. <laughs> So on St. Patrick's Day in 1990, 13 pieces of art valued at $500 million were stolen in the very early hours of the morning. So two individuals disguised as police officers tricked the security guard into allowing them to enter, at which point they disabled the alarm and restrained the guards. Among the stolen pieces were paintings by Degas, Vermeer, Monet, and Rembrandt. So this is in, in history, in looking up crimes associated with art, this was the largest art heist ever. So, 
Um, and then obviously this picture is of the, I forget what that painting is specifically, but it's just the frame because they cut the painting out of it and oh. left. So isn't it true in that, in that museum that all those frames are still there? It might be. I mean, that picture is it's just of a frame, and, and and then there are other pictures online of people going to the museum and standing in front of an empty frame. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, yeah. So I want to say that at that museum, like the um, the collection is kind of sealed. Like that 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 is the collection. And I mean, like you know, like, like, like that moment in time, that room or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's like the yeah. you know, and so they don't add. It's, it's like part of it. Like they don't add, they don't take away or whatever. Yeah. So now it's just like empty frames where the crazy. I think I don't know if that's true or if that was just a fever well, dream I had. Or well, no, I think you're right, and I imagine that a bunch of that stuff has not been recovered. That's just crazy. So, isn't I mean, it? yeah. It's in some it's in some rich person's lion den. Something. God. Which I always think, like, the idea of stealing art seems ridiculous to me because it's not like you can resell it safely. Yeah. I mean, well, doesn't make any sense. I guess a black market, maybe they sold it. And they... I mean, I guess, but that sounds like so much work. I don't know. I'd be a lazy criminal. <laughs> 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 anyway, you can go on to the next one. Junk. Okay, this person here on the... Um, uh, screen is Vincenzo Perugia. Mm. I think I'm probably am not pronouncing that correctly, but he is actually the guy who stole the Mona Lisa from the Louvre in 1911. So, um, which this is interesting. He, um, let's see, uh, he used to work at the Louvre. And so he dressed in an old Louvre uniform, entered the museum through the back door, took the Mona Lisa off the wall, and um, just ditched <laughs> like left mm -hmm. and then it wasn't actually noticed until like the following tuesday that the mona lisa was gone because a, some professor from a college was going in there to sketch or something what he normally does and he noticed it was gone so he asked the guard you know when is it coming back out because the louvre at the the louvre just like other museums would take works back to photograph or to clean or whatever but back then they didn't document it so it was very common for stuff to just be off the wall and this and that and when the guard came back he was dumbfounded like uh it's missing it's not in the back mm. so um uh then they realize it's stolen and then at that point a florentine art dealer dealer received a letter and it was by um uh, Vincenzo, Vincenzo, it was by the guy who stole it, and um, <laughs> <laughs> um, in 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 the letter it says the stolen work of Leonardo da Vinci is my is in my possession. It seems to belong to Italy because the painter is Italian. So he thought that the painting belonged to Italy instead of over in France. When in fact he hadn't probably done his proper research and didn't realize that I think like. Napoleon gave it to France or something back in the day, 250 years prior or something like that. Um, yeah, but, I thought, you thought it was like it was like a spoils of war or something. Yes. They, they stole it or yeah, but yeah. But what's funny about it is that um, when it all came to pass and he's being charged with it and all that, uh, the court was relatively sympathetic um, and sentenced him to one year and 15 days in prison. Um, seven months into his term, he was released and lauded by Italy as a national hero. So apparently, yeah, they agreed. Patriot. It's crazy. Didn't he? Didn't he keep it underneath his bed? Yeah, it was like something like. He would take like it out it, at night, and he would look oh, at I, it, and he was like, he'd like, "Oh, beautiful." And then, oh, I don't. It didn't. I didn't read anything about that. Yeah, he but, did just keep it like in his house, like, and it was just a sort of like, you know, like you know, you just have a junk drawer. <laughs> it's <laughs> like something ridiculous. Like it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a, you know, it's in the back closet. <laughs> you know, so. extra scotch tape, thumbtacks, toothpicks, <laughs> Mona Lisa. <laughs> All these AAA batteries are only half full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, right. But anyway, so there you go. On to the showstopper. Yes, so Carvaggio, your favorite. I do like him. Why do you like him? I'm, I think I think you're about to like him a whole lot, too. Oh, okay. Ooh, do tell. Um. Did did you listen to the to my coffee talk this morning? No, I did not. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't think we would have reality TV like the Desperate Housewives of wherever really? without people like Car Car Caravaggio. Because of the people wanting to know 
Well, what, drama. Like the, okay, drama. Because it's all like high drama. You know, it's yeah. all, you know. And, well, that, that's... Uh, and, and the coffee talk, like I showed an example of his work and all. And, and But before that, in the Renaissance painting, it was all about um, before the drama. So, like, mm -hmm. you would have Michelangelo's David, who was another Italian painter. So, like, you would have you have that. But it would be like... Um, David's just sort of, he's got a sling over his shoulder, and he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, I'm all that, I'm going to take him, you know, but it's like yeah. before it, then you've got Caravaggio, where it's like, if somebody's going to get stabbed or hit with a stone, it's going to be the impact, you know, it's going to be like the, you know, like if he did a, if he did a painting of, of a boxer, you know, it'd be like the, being hit, you know, oh. I mean, it would be the yeah. height yeah, yeah, yeah. of it all. Be Mike Tyson chewing on the air, you know, whatever it is. Well, yeah. And so it's just high drama, but it's it was also in the period of history where drama was kind of being created. I mean, like we've had drama since you know, way back when, but but modern theatrics, you know, modern the idea of like a modern play or modern or what became like modern movies and all this sort of stuff was sort of born at this time. You know, I mean, like it, in um, um, when all this kind of was going down, you know, it was it was like 1600. Um, it was the Shakespearean times. You know, when the Christopher Marlowe and Shakespeare were were kind of inventing, or not inventing, but perfecting sort of the the dramatic plays and all this. So, you know, and and, and before that, it all had been like religious plays and sort of things. It wasn't like the stuff we have now. And you could see that in the painting. So they were taking um, the artwork, the the plays, everything was really into drama. You know, it was into this. That's interesting because. I mean, not only was the composition that I, I totally see what you're saying. Not only was the composition dramatic, but I mean, he he was practically the creator of um, *Chiaroscuro*, which made the lighting dramatic. So everything yeah. at the time was like, you know, a highlight and just amplified drama. I could see that. That's You'd be cool. really proud of me this because I was talking about Caravaggio this morning. Yeah. And I just mentioned Churisquero, but I didn't go into it. Like I, I didn't wax for like fifteen minutes about wow about that. I know I was proud of myself. That was that's pretty good. I don't need to talk about <laughs> it. You know, you know, so I, thought, mm. I, I just kept. But um, yeah, it was it was um that, it was just interesting. But I I thought that was cool. But one one thing about Car Caravaggio that's kind of interesting too is that he was like the first modern sort of rock star in a way. Yeah. I mean, you know, like yeah, I mean he. He was famous in his time. People that you know, he was like people were like, "Oh my gosh!" I mean, he was. They didn't have movies then, so like you would go like if you wanted a dramatic like time, you could go to see a play or you could go see a painting, and like his paintings were some of the most dramatic things that were out there, and you would see it, and suddenly you would just, you know it, it would be like going, um, and seeing like the James Cameron's biggest like adventure or whatever, you know, it was this epic sort of tale, well, that's you know, yeah. in an image and. Um, you know, and you weren't you weren't inundated with images all over. Like you didn't have it. Like you wouldn't go to the store and you have like a Quaker Oats guy looking at you and a toucan and all this stuff. You know, <laughs> yeah. it was. You know, you didn't have posters all over the place. And um, so, like to see a dramatic piece of art like that, you know, it was almost like I won't say it was like magic, but it was. It meant a lot. It made an impression. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool. And um, so he was a rock star in his in his time, and um, and also in the way that like. He went to court like at least eleven times that wow. they know about. Like he threw a plate of asparagus at a waiter. Oh, I, I yeah, I read he, about that. <laughs> he did all these. He did all these crazy things. He would throw stones at a policeman. Yep. He would curse. You know, can you imagine like going pub hopping with this guy? <laughs> you know, no. it'd just be. You know, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> he, you know, and he, he carried a sword all the time. Like, he, like he, swords back then were like guns now. Like you had to have a permit. And he wouldn't get a permit, you know, he would carry a sword. You know, he's like, I'm a gentleman. I mean, he wasn't, but, you know, That's whatever. That's funny. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, he, he committed a bunch of crimes. <laughs> so, he committed a bunch of crimes. He, well, he was a dicey character. Um, and then he eventually murdered, uh, the guy's name was Renuccio? Renuccio Tomassoni. Tomassoni. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then he flees to Naples is, is, is what I've I read. Oh, oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> I can't I, even say it with a straight face. Do you know how he killed him? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should I the willies? Well, he... Um, <laughs> he stabbed him in the um, femoral... How do you say that? Fe well, in femoral? Femoral artery. Ar 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 artery. <laughs> femoral artery. After artery. accidentally missing his testicles. Yeah, he was trying to castrate him. What? Yeah, yeah. So Jeez. at first, like historians and stuff, they they thought that um, 
They thought he killed him over an argument of a tennis match. Yeah, which, that's what I read too. Which is like tennis hooligans. Yeah, <laughs> which is like but rah, 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 this <laughs> Toma Sony guy. He he was a he was a pimp. Oh man. And and I read that it that it was later possible that it was a love interest situation. Yeah, Philippe Mel- Melandroni oh. was a prostitute. Yeah, oh. yeah. So um, girl got to play the game. But at that time though, where 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 a person got hurt or cut. Um, meant something. So in Rome, so like, so like, if you got a cut on the face, so like, if somebody um, um, like disrupted your honor or something, you know, they were like, they, they did something bad to your name, you would you would you would get you would cut them on the face. So like, they they defaced you, you defaced them. Oh, okay. If somebody like um, what against like your woman or whatever, you would try to you would castrate them, you would cut them in the groin, you would, or okay. you would try to cut, you would actually try to castrate so, them. Did he? Do you think he try? He was aiming to kill the guy. Um, well, I mean, I think, I think he was trying to castrate him for sure. So, I mean, the, you know, usually people, do, I mean, so I think he would have been he happy was, if he hadn't died maybe, but, but just, you know, he was a rough character, huh? Well, he, he was drunk. Well, a lot of the, the problems he had, like, you know, so many, so many times about going to court and all this, um, um, he, um, um, it was after it, he, it was things that happened about two, two or three in the morning. So it was like after, he, like he was he, well he, drunk and yeah. all. Yeah, he's a okay. drinker. Um, like he spent a couple weeks in in. Um, oh, I love this one now. But he spent a couple weeks in jail because he wrote uh, foul poems about about an, um, another painter. Huh. And so, and, but it was that painter though um, and that that actually wrote his biography. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so a lot of we get a lot of the information we get from him is from that guy, who. Um, who like in the in the poems like it was, it was really kind of rough poems, but yeah, he was said like you know that that guy's art artwork was only like you know should be used to wipe his butt and should be stuffed in <laughs> dark regions of other people and ladies and different things. And oh, lovely! All the, but he but he, but he, he circulated around he, he circulated around the art district and stuff, you know. And back then that's how, that's how you got made your living and all that. So huh. so yeah, interesting. It's crazy, but. Anyway, anyway, so, I, I talk about that more on that the, the morning coffee yes, thing. So it's just if it's, you want uh, the nitty gritty on Caravaggio, uh, follow John on Instagram and watch his. <laughs> or, or on Facebook, co- it's on Facebook. Oh, okay, on Facebook. On, on my right. page, on, on my art page. Yeah. Um, we have these. What yes. Is that? Is that it's eagle? eagles. Oh, she's snoring? snoring. Oh my well, goodness. Well, she's growling in her sleep. Oh, oh, that's it. Sound like thunder. Um, I only have two playlists on our on our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. It's um, it's these our, our live shows and um, and the coffee thing, which is only a three. Yeah. But, well, yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, go on. I'm sorry. I, I, I get so excited about Caravaggio. You do. You're a nerd. Um, so uh, Tiffany Marie joined us, says, I'm in love with the elephant painting. Oh, well, thank you so much. Um, and let's see. Um, oh, Dennis says, it doesn't say top fan over my name. He's upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then Ken Ken responded, probably just a glitch. I'm sure they can fix it. <laughs> I don't know, Dennis. I don't know. Do we associate ourselves with people that win last in fantasy football? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and Barbara Brands wrote balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's, it's, a, uh, okay. it's awesome. Anyway, so Caravaggio, let me see. I think that was... I just... Yeah, he. I, I found that he he smashed a plate in a waiter's face, and um, he stabbed another painter, which might have been that painter you were talking about. Well, yeah. Um, well, and, and that guy said that he that he hired assassins to go after him geez, and all, all that sort this of guy's stuff. Crazy. But, but you know, did he? I don't know. Uh, well, it sounds like something he probably just tried to do himself. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> anyway, so that that was. I think that was the last image I gave you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, I I know that. Like, okay, in look at. Basically, when I was researching all this, I, I came across a lot of different stories that were really interesting. Um, I know I didn't include them because we, we don't go on forever about this sort of stuff. You know, we try to, like, make it brief. But um, the Ghent altarpiece, which is this sort of ma- uh, huge altarpiece that has, like, 11 panels or more in it. I thought that was... This was interesting that it was is the most destroyed, stolen, or misplaced piece of art ever and wow. so it was stolen in 1934 and um or chunks of it were and in basically it's uh it was painted by the flemish painter brothers hubert and uh john van ick which i remember learning about this giant piece in um 
art history. But um, <clears throat> I believe it was, let's see, in, in May of 1940, the Ghent altarpiece was sent, sent to south of France for protection, um, although within two years the Nazis stole the artwork and sent it to Germany. And then comes in the Monument Men, the Monuments Men. Do you Ooh. remember that? Yeah. Um, they re they they were able to get it all back together, and so now this thing is all back together, I believe. Which, for anybody out there doesn't doesn't know about the Monuments Men, look into it. George Clooney made a movie about it. It's actually pretty interesting about them getting all the artwork back from the Nazis when they stole it. So that's, it was, that's cool. It's pretty pretty interesting stuff. That's cool. Um. So yeah, yeah, there were there was some uh, there were some interesting crimes out there. There was a lot of theft, a lot of like stealing from museums, which is to be expected. That there was a couple of like you know murders or money laundering, you know, with like you know if you get up to like the Christies and the expensive stuff, there was some interesting crimes there. And um, that's pretty cool. There was one gallery owner in New York who had a dungeon and killed some people in the oh, dungeon. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I did, I was like, let's leave that out because it was it got. We need to save that for October. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, me. it was racy outside of being really? a dungeon situation. So uh, I haven't and, heard that story. Well, he got off. That What was oh. weird about it was he got off because his henchmen, where the body was found, um, basically covered for him until he didn't cover for him. And then, and, and it was at that point he, he got off. It, it was a weird thing. I didn't include it because we try to stay as family friendly as we can. <laughs> it was pretty questionable. Oh, um, oh, you know um, about Car Car Caravaggio again? Um, the, the other the guy he stabbed. I bet I, I bet that was a was this um, night. It was a it was a monk night or night monk. He was a he was a um, whenever whenever um, Car the Pope wanted Car Caravaggio dead, mm -hmm. and you just kind of love this guy. I mean, he was like this rock star. <laughs> I mean, the Pope singles him out like this guy's got to go. You know, he's like, yeah. oh, beep beep, I'm out. You know, and he runs away, and um, and then you know, and, and then and then he picks a fight with like a a knight who is like a monk knight, you know, and then um, and then and then he ends up getting his face cut. Um, Car Caravaggio does, but they get sent to prison though because he attacks that knight, and then he escapes prison. I mean, it's this guy. It's just this. It's the story just keeps going on and on and on. It's just well, they they made a movie about him that what's his name Andy. Oh. You saw the movie, right? No. Oh my gosh, they made a movie about him, and um, really good looking actor named Andy. Somebody out there, let me know, Andy. You know what it's called? No, I cannot remember. But I remember. I remember. what is the name of the Caravaggio movie? Let's find out. <laughs> I don't know that, but you oh. have his turn enabled. Well, I can Google it. But um, yeah, um, let me see. Um, Sorry, I don't know that, but you have this turn enabled. Do you want an answer? No, thank you. Sorry. Um, Ooh, I'm curious. British drama? No, that's not it. Where is this one? I'm curious. That's I, I didn't know. I'll, I'll I'll dig it. I don't want to do all around. Cool. On no, here, I, I I went through a I went through a phase where I listened to every art documentary I could find. Mm -hmm. And um, and I you know and I have a bunch of them on, on D DVDs, but I don't think I have anything on Car 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 Caravaggio. Hmm. So that that would be really cool. And he's not like my favorite painter in the world or whatever. I just think when it comes to shenanigans and all this sort of stuff, you know, he's pretty interesting. You know, it's it's just like I mean, like if a Hollywood movie came out with it, you're like, all right, we're gonna have a painter. He's like a rock star. He's amazing. Everybody you know, everybody thinks he's talented. But he just likes to drink, and he gets into fights, and he gets into sword fights all the time. And then he, and the Pope wants him dead, and he runs away, and yeah. he gets thrown in prison. He escapes prison, but he's still famous, and he's still a great painter. And the Pope wants to forgive him, and, and he's gonna go back. But all his paintings get sent on the ship, and he, and he's not there. And he's like, ah, oh, I gotta get it, and then he dies. And, and his death <laughs> yeah, is mysterious. And they don't, you know. Uh, it's like, well, oh. Barbara Brand says it's Caravaggio. The the name of this. Well, there well, is that makes a, sense. Well, yeah, there is a British movie named Caravaggio that that they did but I don't know if that's the the one I'm thinking of has um 
keep putting the camera up here. I might, I might even, I might be getting the movie mixed up, but it, it mm. I don't know. But yeah, I'll, I'll, look, I'll look into it. But there is, yeah, according to Barbara, there is a Caravaggio movie out there that you are missing out on if you haven't I seen it. I don't have to look for that. That sounds cool. Yes. Maybe I will introduce that as the, in the movie portion of our twelve-year-old sleepover we're having out there. Come on, kids, gather around. <laughs> Let me. Murder and mayhem and art. I have a film for you. <laughs> Oh my goodness! No, if it, if it, I'm just hoping that the house, that half of the house, is not burnt down. We yeah, really. We we're in the we're in the studio, and the rest of the house is just ashes with the two boys like still still with controllers in their hand, not not with not the virtual glasses, and not, like and not even knowing that everything is gone. <laughs> what? Oh man, man, yes, oh, good God. times, good summer times in the city. Yeah, so. Well. But so, what are you doing to fix that elephant oh, over there? What am I doing to fix it? I think it looks pretty. And, no, I, th- I think I think I think I like what I did. I think. What, what do did you, you think? do? Can you see it from where you are? Well, I'm looking at it on the computer. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, what do you think? I mean, well, I, I, honestly, I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell any difference. <laughs> oh, okay. See, um, before there there was black lines all down here. There was there was some going this way and yeah. down here. There's some more over here. All that's been taken out, and I've made it to light and dark grays and pinks. And so, okay. Just sort of soften his face, his um, his mouth up a little bit. Or nice. hers, who knows? You know. Whatever. His hers. <laughs> it's a gender awesome. neutral elephant. Okay. That's cool. Very nice. So, well, so what do you think, though? Um, I mean, I think it it it. it I think it, it's the big dark lines you don't like. I, it's not so much the big dark lines. I don't know. It's weird. It's uh, maybe it's just not your cup of tea. I I but it, it, it I don't know. It, it, I, I love the painting. It's not. Uh-oh. See, I'm gonna sound ridiculous because people are probably like, "That's great," and I'm so critical. Nah, nah. But, it's, um, um, you know. I mean, I feel like. All of a sudden, it, he's got all these black lines in his ear, or ears, and he doesn't have any in his face. Well, he did. I know, I know, I know. Well, hmm. hmm. I, I'm not saying take. I'm not saying take any of the black lines out. I'm just. I don't know. I feel like he needs more of a like. Def, I need some of his features need to be more defined. Like his, like I don't want to say he needs cartoony Disney eyes, but I feel like he like there he needs more like. You know the the puppy dog. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm tired. <laughs> no, I, um, well, I think I think maybe you know with with a lot of my my paintings, I, I usually go one way or the other. Like I'll mm-hmm. go more cartoony, or I'll go kind of realistic. Yeah. And on this one, I was kind of going in between the two. Like I, I don't know. I did a painting of a fawn with a bluebird once. Yeah. And that was sort of like this. I think where. Um, it was realistic, but then it was also kind of, I did it for children as well. And that's kind of what this painting is kind of, is for, the bright colors and all. It's for, um, I wanted to do one painting in the group, at least, that kids, well, like I have I have a kid in one painting, and then I have a puppy in another, and I have this one, but I wanted some paintings that kids who are traveling too. Yeah. You know, they like, oh, I don't know, you know, it'd be. So, it's not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> Well, it you know what it, it it doesn't matter because it's cute. Um, it's um, uh, Marie says I really like it. Tiffany says I can't. You can't not smile looking at it. Yeah, guys, tell her. Um, <laughs> Ken said, <laughs> let, let her have it. I'm Ken said Gerber baby elephant. Oh, yes, that's what I'm looking for. There we Gerby, go. Gerber baby version of an elephant. Can you imagine the size of the baby food jars for? <laughs> If you were if you were buying them for an elephant, like Gerber, Gerber, Gerber yeah. elephant baby food, and uh, Christy Harkin says he's he, and this is referring I'm back back to Car- Caravaggio probably he's not a criminal but Adolf Wolfie story and art is so interesting. Oh, have to look that up. Gosh, anybody named Adolf, you gotta. That's dicey. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that whole thing starts off dicey. That's hey guys, but, but I do want to say, and I, and I know everybody watching knows knows that, but I really appreciate Jackie being so honest, and because <laughs> whenever not every painting I do, I, I paint a lot, like I I paint a ton, and um, not every painting is going to be like somebody's favorite or whatever, you know. So it's nice getting critiques because 
um, in every painting, I'm trying to make it a little bit better. So if there's like something that, you know, seems a little off or they're there, sometimes I agree, sometimes I don't agree, yeah. you know, but it's always a discussion though, you know, which is yeah. awesome. And we're both artists, so it, we realize that it's very subjective and, you know, if you love some aspect about it, it you know, it's like, it, it, you just, you're just getting other opinions. So if you're, if you got too much ego in the game, that's you're starting off on the wrong yeah. foot. Yeah, and so. some some nights I just go to bed a little early and I just cry into my pillow. And, you know, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Nobody loves me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And I come in here and I repaint everything. Yeah. All white. <laughs> no. All white. Yeah. Just covering my. No. But that's that's um, one of the things like um you know that you learn like if you if you do anything creative you know it's. I keep bumping this. I'm going to change this. We got a new boom in here. Um, but everything is kind of crazy. Like we're, I, I have these these deadlines. So I didn't really – I spent a little time trying to get it set up. But I thought, I don't have any more time. Like I can't waste any more time on this right now. But this weekend I'm going to try to get everything set up where it's a little bit better and um, and just make things nicer in here. Yeah. So like the backdrop, anything. You know, just try to make it a little – you know, I mean yeah, it's a working been, studio. So We've been moving things around. And, and then you pulled the giant keyboard out for Jack, so – yeah, and me, and me. I want to do that too. Like I wanted to. All I, I, I used to play the ukulele a little bit, and all my ukuleles have broken. So, but I have a keyboard. And I thought, man, I want to learn how to play the piano. And um, but it's just a, just go get one of your ukuleles fixed too. But yeah, well, that'd be cool. It's, well, it's just it's a time thing. Yeah, no, we're, and I know. I thought, we're well, if I get the ukulele fixed, I want to be strumming on it when I could have been painting and I don't know, or working or doing you know emails yeah. or something or not whatever you mostly do emails. Well, um, I do want to say Barbara has put a link on, on this chat of the 15 great movies influenced by the paintings of um, Caravaggio. Ooh, wow. Thank so, you. And then says, of the 15 movies, it seems that The Seventh Seal, 1957, Igmar Bergman, mm. is more straight up about Caravaggio. So I we'll have to look that up. I've heard that movie. I've heard it. I don't think I've seen it, but I've heard about it. I know what John's watching this weekend. Mm. Um. And then, um, let's see, Ken says very cute. I, I, I mean, I, probably about the painting and, and the Gerber baby idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> Christy Harkin says uh, he had horror vacuum, very intense and detailed work to edges of page. No empty space was in, in asylum. Definitely worth looking him up. That's interesting for the Adolf guy. Yeah. Boy. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that'd be interesting. It's always... You know, one of the things like on the the coffee thing in the morning, I just want to talk about different weird stuff and and show different things. Like I did one like the drawing hacks we did on here, and then the other one. What do you remember what I did? I can't remember. Um, I did something else on, on there, but but everyone's been different. Yeah, you've done so, a few, quite a few. You know, I honestly have not watched any of your coffee and one yellow dogs yet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's called, it's called coffee <laughs> art and one yellow dog because that's that's all the time in the morning. Well, and my mom's she's joined, not even up. <laughs> my, no, I, I am. No, I mean the oh, yellow dog. <laughs> oh, both of us are not up. But yes. She's in there. She's 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 doing exactly what she's doing now. She's she's still there, isn't she? Yep. She's changed positions. Oh, has she? I yeah. bet I bet I bet Echo hasn't. Mm, nope. Echo's uh, still there. Um, my mom joins us. Says, "Darling Elephant." Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Um. Uh, and then Chrissy says, I'll have to look for you on Instagram. I don't go on there much. So Yeah, I didn't either. Like, I, I, I've had Instagram for a long time, but I, I didn't really do anything with it. And then um, um, and then I, I realized I had followers on there. I thought, oh, well. <laughs> and then so I've started posting. And, I, and I, I've tried to, you know, I try to, try to post like maybe four or five times a week now. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah, At so least. and more, and then not that well, you know, it'd be fun. Like if I'm gonna, I wanted to do a different video thing because we're just doing more, and it's a lot of fun. And it's you know, it's so much fun to chat. And I thought, but there's certain certain things that it, it doesn't really work for a live show, and I thought, oh, it'd be fun just to yeah, and chat to be about it. and to be honest, like I mean, for other artists out there that that watch this, it it, it it's it is a quantity game. It is it is you got to just put stuff out there everywhere. <laughs> I mean, if you can think of a TikTok dance, do it, apparently. Um, What's a TikTok dance? Well, there's TikTok, which is another, like, social platform. Uh, yeah, yeah. And um, and I've heard of that. And now people are gaining popularity on it because they do these sort of short videos that are almost like GIFs. Not necessarily, but they're 
kind of <laughs> like they're they're very short. I mean, they're like seconds long, which is hard for you to do. But <laughs> seconds long and <laughs> Are you saying i'm verbose uh, well you, you like to talk a little bit but um but then they let me tell you some more about Car- carvage <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> but they they gain pop they gain viral steam and so tiktok cool. especially with like the vir everybody being you know shelter in place um it's been a lot of people are like going on social and they're doing you know they they check out these dances and then they learn them and then they film themselves doing it and mm. There's a bunch of stuff. I mean, it's a thing. So that's cool. It's that not just like TikTok. We, it's like we should try to do that. I mean, just be <clears> fun and be fun. I mean, we'd do one, and then that'd be it, probably. You gonna do a dance? I don't know. Can you do a, da- a painty dance? Sure. You could do it to like a remix of Bob Ross talking. Mm. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. <clears throat> that sounds awful. It does. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> um, well, Barbara, Barbara said, um, what if there were wrinkles on his forehead above his eye? On the yeah, that's a good idea. I had, I had some, some I deeper ones up there. And then um, and I, I thought, I don't know. Like I had some. And then I took them out. And then I made a, and then I put some kind of gray in up here. <clears throat> so, I mean, I could put like some little lines. Let's see. Well, and uh, Sarah Oliver has joined us. She says, "I'm a, I'm Brazilian. I don't speak English, but I really admire mm. your work. It's amazing." Well, thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank yeah, thank you for joining. And and uh, I wish I knew something in Portuguese. <laughs> Ab- oh gosh, I can. I, I, what is what is it? Do- Abracado. Well, yeah, yes. There you go. That, and that's horrible. I'm so sorry. I mispronounced it so terribly. I, I, I'm stuttering over it. I can't even say I'm tr- it. I'm trying to think how, how I would order oh drinks because that's really no, awesome. I, I love Brazil, though. Brazil is so much fun. I mean, everybody just... Dos Caparinos, por favor. Yeah, Dos Caparinos. <laughs> that's all Plus, I know. Those, yeah. <laughs> Ca- Caparinha. That's what you know. That's yeah. literally all I know. Cachaça, Caparinha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, everybody, everybody, everybody was so friendly. Oh, I loved, yeah. I loved it there when we went. It was great. <laughs> um, so uh, Christy says, um, oh, I already read that. That she'll look for you on Instagram. Um, Tiffany says, good night, guys. Until next time. Um, Maria says, chair dance! Exclamation mark. Chair dance. Oh. So apparently that is a thing on the TikToks. My goodness, I don't know what a chair dance is, but that yeah. might be the last thing I do before my next back operation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Well, you know, I think, I think, I think, I think we're gonna have to call it here a little bit too. Yeah, we should we need to check on the boys. Yeah, yeah, we have that sleepover going over. Jack, Jack has <clears> a friend <throat> sleeping over, and um, and it's been awfully quiet for awfully I long. Know. I'm scared. Um, it's you know, it, and, and they're both great kids, really great kids, but um, but um, you, you and as loud never... as it is, and you think like, oh, I wish it'd be quiet when it's quiet for too long. It's a problem. Yeah, then then you start to worry. But we did feed. I know. Yes, yes, we did feed them right before we came back here. So. Yeah, that's maybe, maybe they're in a stupor. A yeah, bit. who knows? But um, really fast, Barbara says it would look inquisitive as a baby elephant, as baby elephants are, with the lines above his oh, forehead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and Melissa Sue joined us and waved. So. Um, oh thank yeah. you. Yeah. So I, I'm I what I guess what we'll do for Monday is um, uh, we'll have images of the entire collection and get people's opinion. That that would be really cool. I would I would love that. Would love to do that, and um, totally. we'll think of something fun to do, guys. Uh, maybe maybe we'll play a game or something. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what we're doing for Monday or next any of the next week's shows, so we'll have to come up with something creative. Yeah, yeah. It'd be fun to play. And we, we we used to play some games and stuff way back yes. when. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. Maybe you can eat a hot pepper. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know if I want to play that game. Oh, golly. All right. We, we did we that. did a video once about um if if, if suffering actually made improved your art. So we thought we'd go scientific with it, and, 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 and I ate a, I can't even remember what the pepper is, but I ate a really hot pepper. It did not improve the art, I don't think. Did it? It might, no, actually, it might have a little bit. I mean, it was really a flawed I experiment. need to go watch that video, because I don't want to do it again, but I do want to We're know. not, we, I don't want to I want to say maybe it did just a I little think it bit. was a flawed experiment. Because mm. so at that point, we, we had practice, right, you know, over and over and over again. Oh, golly. So, Barbara says, you guys make me laugh so hard. Oh, so well, thank you for tuning in. We thank appreciate you. it. Um, Thanks so much, Barbara and everybody, for, for tuning in, guys. And hope you all have a great weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah enjoy it. Um, hopefully it's dry there. It might be rainy here. I'm not sure now. But um, like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Share us with your friends. 
Let us know if you want us to talk about anything specific. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good idea. Bye, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>